Welcome Leo to your love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're going to use this deck to pull some energies and then use this deck for the spread. And then at the end of the reading, we'll pull lovers oracles for you guys here. All right, let's see what's coming in for Leo. We have the King of Swords. Now he came out reversed. He could have dealt with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be more of an energy that someone's holding here. We do have the Nine of Rings, which is the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, so we have the world again and the three of rings. So it's showing me this is the three of pentacles and the world. So you could be closing out some chapters here. Now, just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Let's see what's coming in for Leo. We have the Three of Wands, Judgment, Four of Swords, The Tower, Queen of Pentacles. I feel that's you, definitely you. The Sun, yes. Nine of Cups, amazing. Really great cards here. And the Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups and the Emperor. And then we have the Moon here. Okay, Leo, so I'm kind of feeling this energy that you closed a very hard chapter, okay? The world is coming in very strongly where there was a lot of obstacles and challenges within a situation. Now this could be in the past or something that currently just happened. It's more of an unexpected type event that you and this person or something here in the situation to where now an awakening has occurred and kind of moving you towards this new path here, okay? To the best path that's right for you. Now you're moving towards, we have the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So it looks like you are moving towards towards your nine of cups, which something amazing is coming in for you. We have the sun and the queen of pentacles. Okay, now with this queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but I do feel like this is, I know you're a fire sign, but this could be the energy you're holding. This is someone who's very committed, loyal, caring, okay? This is someone that can carry their own. This Leo I'm talking to, you could be going down a path, a very spiritual path, where you could be seeing synchronicities as in numbers, and that is your angels guiding you, right? It's guiding you, it's helping you heal. Those are messages in there for you, okay? And it's all about pulling you towards your happiness, the judgment, Someone here could be wanting a second chance. Yes, and it could be this queen, king of swords energy, this air energy. Um, it doesn't have to be an, a, an air. It could just be this energy they're carrying. You could have dealt with a narcissist, someone very hurtful, someone who didn't speak well or treated you well. Maybe they had tattoos. Who knows? Because there's tattoos here. Because this person or this king of swords in reverse, male or female, um, they're very manipulative, cold. Uh, they say things they don't mean. They say things just to hurt you, okay? They do things just to hurt you when they're in this reversed energy. And I feel like that's why you're closing out this chapter. It's like accepting and moving on. This person could be resisting change, which I feel like you could have caught this king cheating or lying or in third party or just tired of it, right? And um, somehow they had this tower moment, which affected you. I don't feel like it was yours. I feel like you were in the middle of their karmic um, situation. They probably have um, a lot of karmic that needs to be balanced. And unfortunately, sometimes um, we meet people that are, you know, not who they say they are, um, you know, after knowing them for long periods of time. I'm sure you didn't meet this person. You know, you're not looking for a narcissist. They just come in our lives. And I feel like it taught you a huge, 
huge lesson to where it transformed you into this now wise person who is now you know ready for something else it's like you're going to be listening to your intuition a lot more leo i feel like they have a lot of growing up to do a lot of lessons still needing to be learned and needing to be honest with themselves um, as for you it's doing wonders okay so it's resilience here could have been a very very tragic time for you in the past with this person and now it's it's like you have the tower and the sun and judgment okay and now this is taking charge of your own life the sun is the most happiest car in the deck so it's telling me light is coming through the most happiest time of your life you have clarity you're being honest with yourself and something is coming in that's a wish fulfillment okay something that's going to make you very very happy it's honestly just showing that you're healing it's like self-care you're loving yourself you're putting yourself first especially if you dealt with this king of swords energy that's exhausting you could be feeling burnt out to where you mentally need to just take a break from the situation but i do feel as you're taking that time and doing that self-love your wish fulfillment's coming in and you're carrying yourself very high in high regards very competent and loving and loyal and you know your worth okay and you know what you can give and this ace of swords is this is uh, some type of clarity some type of an awakening here somebody coming in and maybe a possible an air sign not this air sign another one but that's going to be a very honest truthful relationship and something that you want because it looks like you are looking for this type of energy of stability long-term commitment someone that says things and actually does it right someone that's consistent and does not hurt you or your emotions you have the sun here okay so the sun again is abundance love joy soulmates divine coming in um this is blessings everything you could dream of and the sun is the most happiest card in the deck so let's go ahead and get the lovers oracles and see what's coming in for you leo Here we go, we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles and you're closing out a cycle. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. It's leading you to your wish fulfillment. You know the answers already because you're already at the world and you're already very independent and whole within yourself but you're getting you're you're being led to by you know to success here again to to happiness to positivity this could be you manifesting a love coming in also it's asking to trust all the decisions that you made were that what was best for you it's what what makes you happy and if this situation didn't make you happy then you made the right choice if uh, to move forward imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light yes and for okay so imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into life creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life leo yeah it didn't seem like this was an easy time at all Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yes, and I feel like there's a lot of inner work that you have done in the process to now where you're coming out and having that realization of knowing who you are and being very, very honest with yourself. Not so much your person though. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yes, and then we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. These are big signs for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you, Leo. If you do like this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.